Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you, Edwin. Hello, Edwin Nilsson. Hello, ladies. Hello, Carla Mendoza. Good evening. Carlos Josue. Good to see you here. How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. Sure. How are you doing? Just fine. I'm fine. Good. What about you, Edwin? How's it going? How's everything? I am fine. You're fine. Thanks. Good. Yes. Okay. So uh, I think that you are ready to start a new a new lesson, right? It's okay. Yeah, how how was how was just how how about yesterday? How how did you how did you feel? Good. Fine, thank you. Okay, hello Carlos. Good to see you there. Do me the favor to activate cameras, please. Remember that's important for us. So that we can see. Okay, I can see over there. But I cannot see Carla. I cannot see uh, Carlos either. Well, lady, I can see lady's picture only, but I need to see her so that we can interact in the class uh, better. Well, I hope that you are ready, right, to start with a new, a new journey, a new class, okay? So that we can uh, move on and start uh, thinking about what's coming soon. Uh, did you solve the exercise in the platform, people? Yes, did you work in the platform? No, Yes, I the same today. You solved the exercises, right? So, I can see Henry over here. Good night. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, Carla. To be the favorite. Good night. You. Hello, hello, Carla. Hello. Good, <laughs> Good to see you over here. I Hi, hope that everybody. you are. Hello, hello. Hope you are more than ready to start a new class, okay? I have a, a seven people connected and still waiting for some others. Okay, how are you today, Carla? Very nice. Very nice, uh, okay. Willing, yeah. willing to, to learn a little bit more of English. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <Of course. laughs> Pretty good. Okay, I have a Carlos, I don't see. A Carlos has activated his camera. Obed, Henry, do the favor to activate the camera, please. Okay, that's better, Henry. Okay, now I can see you. How's everything there, Henry? Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, now I can see Jennifer Hernandez over here. Good evening, Jennifer. Well, it's eight, eight o'clock, right? So it's time to start. Well, um, I'm really happy to see you here. Yesterday we were um, we started a topic right about personal information and providing um, some info about uh, different occupations and professions. And you and you told me about what you usually do at work, right? Some people are a cashier over here. Some other are accountants. I think somebody said it's a, an agent over here. 
etc. Right. So we were we were talking a little bit about our uh, job. Okay. Today it will be well. We will continue talking a little bit about it, but uh, well, I will. I will talk a little about the verb be. I will continue talking about the verb to be. Okay. Okay. And the way we create positive statements, negative statements, and well, today will be something related to questions. Okay. How to create questions in English. I don't know if you want to say something just before starting. Question yesterday. Yeah, questions yesterday. about yesterday. About I, don't, I don't know if you have questions about yesterday's class. Um, or if you want to uh, include some info, something that you remember about yesterday. Elenilson, what do you remember about yesterday's class? I don't remember the following occupation. Okay, which occupations did we study yesterday, Ellen El Uh Floor manager. All right, uh, floor manager. Truck, 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 driver, truck driver. The truck driver, pretty good. Uh, secretary. The secretary, but stop it there. Stop it there. Okay. Uh, let me see, Edwin, okay. what does a, a, a truck driver do? But that's a truck driver too. <clears throat> Edwin. Yes. Yes, tell me, what does a truck driver do? Only drives a truck and that's it? I don't know. No, you don't know. Who remembers what, what, what a, a truck driver does? Somebody said it yesterday, right? Yes. Yes. I don't know if if there is somebody. Okay, Ellen, Ellen Nilsson said a secretary, a truck driver. What else did you say, Ellen Nilsson? We are just having some review about what we started yesterday. Truck driver, secretary, uh, floor. Uh, what else did you say, Ellen, Ellen Nilsson? Engineer. An engineer. Oh, okay, let, let us let's do it one by one. What does an engineer do, Carla? An uh, engineer is a, is a person that works in designer uh, strategic, strategic plan to the office and different <laughs> hey, you, can, you can use the net okay no, now now that you know what i'm doing you can use the net right you can use the internet and look for it no yeah, so responsibility that's okay responsibility. That's, that's all right okay lenilson you say engineer what's the second one lenilson Engineers it was the first one, the second one. Ellen Nilsson. Uh, floor manager. Okay, floor manager. That's for Juan Carlos. Hey, Juan Carlos, tell me what, what does a, a floor manager do usually do? Hi. Hi. Welcome. Uh, Perdón, me voy incorporando, se voy llegando del trabajo. Perdón, no, no me pude oh. conectar a la hora. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so you don't know what, what we are doing now. Okay, so, but think about, about the, the, the occupations that Ellen is, 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 is saying. Jennifer, what does a, a floor manager do? Jennifer Guadalupe. Existent the production. Oh, he assists. He assists. 
Receives. Uh, see. Yes. Okay, he assists his team uh, to, to keep everything in order or ready to start with the journey. Okay, well, what, what is the third one, Errol Nilsson? Uh, it's a truck driver, right? Yeah, supervi supervisor. Uh, okay, what, what does a supervisor do, uh, Jennifer Hernandez? What does a supervisor do? Do me the favor to activate your, your microphone because we cannot listen to you. <clears throat> okay, who wants to help a uh, Jennifer? Anybody in the group? Okay, Jennifer is, is facing problems with the audio, I think. Yeah. Uh, Elenil, so do you have another word that we studied uh, yesterday? <clears throat> Sorry. Is there any word we studied yesterday? No more? Only mm -hmm. those? Mm -hmm. Okay, so actually, repeat. We will... repeat the. Is there any other word? Uh, is there more vocabulary we studied yesterday? No, no, no. Did we didn't study more like nurse or doctor or something like that? That really? Okay, you know what. Well, we're gonna continue talking about what we started yesterday. Okay, I hope that you are more than ready. Today, we are going to continue doing so. Yesterday, we started with uh, positive and negative statements, okay? Like, he's, um, he's my colleague, he is a nurse, <clears throat> or she is an architect, or also we talked about negative statements such as she is not a, um, She's not a dentist, right? But, but, but she is a, a nurse, et cetera. Can you provide two examples nurse. only? Two examples, only two sentences in English. Let's start with Carlos, Carlos Josue. Two sentences, one positive and one negative, please. He's a doctor. He's a doctor? Uh, he not is a nurse. He is not a, a nurse, no. right? He's a doctor, he's not a nurse. Ellen Nielsen, go ahead with yours. Uh, uh, he's a doctor, he's not a mechanic. He's a teacher, he's not a mechanic. Perfect, Carla. Um, she's a she's a teacher, <coughs> and he he's not he's not a he's not a chef. <laughs> okay, that's really nice. Hey, she's a teacher. She's not a chef. Remember that you can use actually you can use the contracted form. Uh, it sounds more naturally. Uh, Henry, what about your examples? She's a nurse. She's not a professor. She's not a professor. Pretty good. Thank you. Uh, uh, let us try to use contractive form, okay? Now, only contractive form, okay? Jennifer, could you... Uh, 
Were you able to solve the your problem with the microphone? Jennifer Hernandez? No, no not, not yet. Jennifer, can you listen to me? It seems as if Jennifer has problems with with hair equipment. Elwin, go ahead with your, your, your examples, please. Yes, uh, he is a doctor. He is not a good driver. Okay, now let, let us do it by using the contractive form, Elwin. He's a doctor, he's not a truck driver. Could you please repeat? He is a doctor. He is not a driver. He's not a truck driver. Carlos Jose, you wanna say something, right? Um, I'm Carlos, and I'm not, I'm not Carlos. I am, I'm Carlos, I'm not? Carlos. It's contracted for? I, uh, I'm yes Carlos, no? I'm Carlos, no, I'm, no I mean, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm Carlos. Yeah, that's contracted for him. Uh-huh. Yeah, and the other one is, I am Carlos, I'm right? Okay. Okay. Jennifer, go ahead with your examples, please. Uh, he, he is a not a mechanic. He's not a mechanic? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, okay. He's a mechanic. He's not a... I mean, you, you you should provide one positive and one ne negative statement, please, Jennifer. One positive and one negative. Using contractive form. Okay, think about it, think about it. Maybe later you can participate, okay? Denise, uh, can you please tell me the, the examples that you have in mind? Uh, I think it's Denise, right? Yeah. Uh, he, he's a teacher, he's not dentist. She's a teacher, she's not a dentist, good. What about you, uh, Esperanza? Could you please tell us the, the, the sentence that you, that you have in mind? Well, it seems as, uh, Esperanza, can you listen to me? No, I, I mean, she's, she's having problems also. Okay, let's, let's continue with Evelyn. Evelyn, tell me about the two examples you have in mind. People in the chat says, good evening. Okay, problems, okay. Uh, problems with audio. Evelyn and Julio Cesar has problems with audio. I don't know. Uh, si gustan, este, pueden salirse un, un momentito. A lo mejor este, hay alguna falla con Zoom. Salen y regresan, ¿ok? Salen y regresan para que pues, no les afecte en el tiempo. Ok, so, well, we are going to continue uh, with the information I have over here. I, I will share some, I will share the book. You know, you need to be ready with a book, okay, with the material that you were given, because we will continue doing so, uh, or working over there tonight, okay? Uh, as you remember, yesterday, yesterday, we were talking about the vocabulary uh, uh, Nilsson uh, told us, right? Main, floor manager, supervisor, track driver, engineer, secretary. And we tried to get information about their responsibilities, all right? What does uh, somebody in church of maintenance does? Well, what about the floor manager, the supervisor, the track driver, the engineer, and the secretary? All of them have 
some responsibilities, right? We were discussing about the vocabulary in here. We also heard some information in the link we got in the book, et cetera, right? And today, uh, well, also we were talking about positive or affirmative statements. And also we were talking about negative statements and we are we we now know that we can use the verb be in in different in two different ways right in the contracted yeah, form tell me donde puedo encontrar esa esa información ah that that's in the book esa información está en el libro sí pero en donde en donde me voy para poderla encontrar Oh, okay, give me one second. Yesterday we were talking in la página 10. Estamos haciendo el repaso. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Let me know when you get it, please. Déjenme saber cuando ya lo obtengan para que todos estemos conectados. Eh, Carlos this, Josué. This is the wash in the platform. Yeah, that's the one that's in the platform also. Ya está compartido en el grupo y también está en la plataforma. Eh, ayer les sugería que lo tuvieran pues abiertito ahí en, en PDF por si hay que editar y trabajar al mismo tiempo. Eh, Correcto, en la clase. Es, solo este, en realidad no sé en dónde me tengo que, que ingresar para poder buscar esa, esa información. Eh, Está, usted está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Uh, ayer, este, en el link que, que compartió, pues me, me metí, pero no, no pude acceder al, al Permítame, grupo. Permítame, voy, voy a ver si lo, lo comparto así rapidito ahorita nuevamente. Ok, gracias. Ticho. Para que lo puedan visualizar todos. Vaya, ahí lo acabo de compartir. Lo que yo no pude escuchar, teacher, eh, son los, bueno, no sé, los videos de los links que aparecen ahí. ¿Estos, estos enlaces no los pudo abrir? Ajá, esos no los pude abrir. O sea, me los abría, pero luego me pedía una actualización y autorización. Entonces, ya no seguí. De, de igual manera, quise intentar también y no, no, no pude. Qué curioso, porque a, ayer sí, sí lo estuvimos trabajando, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, yo lo escuché, lo escuché sí. pero yo lo quise escuchar ahora en la mañana y igual no, no, no pude acceder. A, no me daba así como usted que le da, estaba el, el, el dedo, ¿verdad? Y el enlace. El, el enlace, correcto. ¿no? Bueno, seguimos con el repaso, entonces. Sí. Okay, so uh, let's pay attention here. Well, yesterday I told you, right, mm -hmm. about different ways to use the verb to be. And we also said that the verb to be, there are three forms of the verb to be, right? Which are them? Am, is, and are. Those are the verb to be. I mean, that's the verb be in present. Okay, am, is, are. Okay, and we were like, like creating some sentences on here. Okay, and we were talking about people and their occupations. Okay, um, actually today we started with that, uh, with that uh, information in the class. Okay, and uh, you see, now it is supposed we can talk about what what someone do or what you do at your workplace and to say your occupation. Okay, so you can self as you can use the self assessment in order to see if you have reached the goal. Uh, well, today we're gonna talk about what me and other people do in different workplaces and say occupation. So we, our occupation. So that means that we will continue talking about it, right? We are going to brainstorm about what you and other colleagues do in your workplace and share with the, with the class, okay? Now, I will ask, uh, for example, oh no, we're gonna go directly to the conversation, okay? We have Mirio here and we have Romeo, and you know, what do you think they are doing, people? 
What do you think these people are doing? What do you think they are doing? What do you think they are doing, people? They are conversation. Ah, they are they are having a conversation. Okay, what do you think the, the conversation is all about? This is a present presentation. Ah, they are introducing themselves. Okay, but what do you yes. think they are they are talking about? What is the topic? What is the topic? What is the topic in the conversation? What is the topic in the conversation? What, what are we supposed to learn to the, tonight? We are going to talk about uh, workplace. We're going to learn, well, about what people, workplace. About workplace, right? In different workplaces and say your occupation. So the conversation is supposed to be about conversation. Secretary. I mean, it's about the secretary. The new secretary. A new secretary. Okay. So we have Mary and we have Romeo. Okay. And Mary says, Good morning. I am Mrs. Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am. Mr. Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department, says Rodrigo. Uh, Romeo says, no, I'm not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. And Rodrigo says, yes, uh, we are in from the same department, but we are colleagues. And finally, Mary, Mary said, thank you so much for the information. Okay, now, where is the verb to be in the conversation, people? They are. Can you please tell me about the verb to be in the conversation? Where is the verb to be in the conversation, people? Hey, they are. We are. They are. We, we are. They are. We are. We are. What else? We are. They, we they are, are again. We aren't. We are. We are only those. The verb to be is, is. I mean, the verb to be is only in those sentences. Are you sure? Remember that the verb to be is um 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 is, uh, I am Miss. I am and also are right so we have three forms of the verb to be uh huh I am Miss. I am okay in the contracted I'm, form I'm, 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 I am okay I am Mister Robio I am Mister I am and, not I am not no, I am no, not. I am not. No, I am not. I am from the quality from. department. And I think that's everything related to the bird to be, right? Pretty good. So we identify. Now, tell me vocabulary about professions and occupation, people. What is the vocabulary yeah. you see there about profession and occupation? Marketing department. Let me see. Okay. The marketing department. That's the workplace, right? That's yeah. the workplace. Okay. Sacred new secretary, right? New secretary. secretary. All right. What else? Manager. The quality department. Marketing manager. Give me one second. Marketing department. The quality uh, marketing department. manager, manager. Very good. Mm -hmm. quality department. Quality department is the place, right? The person works. Quality department. Okay, I, I created a mess over here. So, but actually, those are like the 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 structures and the vocabulary we have been studying recently, right? So that's I, I just wanted to know that you are um that you are uh, familiarized with the with with the information or with the vocabulary 
Uh, I need two people to read it, Carlos and Denise. Carlos, Denise starts. Well? Denise, please, do me the favor to start with the conversation. Just read the conversation. Um, I'm Romeo. No, no, give me one second. Denise starts. Denise Casta. Okay. Uh, I am Denise. No, no, Denise. Do me the favor to read, read. please. Just read. read. Ah, okay. Perdón. No, don't worry. It's all right. Okay. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I am new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Romeo. Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Well, you work, welcome, are you from the marketing department? You continue, okay. Yeah, you continue. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Okay, Carlos. Yes, we are not. We are. We are. We are not from the same department. But are you colleagues? Thank you for you. Thank you so much for the information. Thank you so much for the information. Okay. So that's the, that's the conversation, okay? Now, over here, you're gonna be like uh, completing the sentences over here. Uh, you, see, you see some info from the information above, right? So for example, the number one says, Rodrigo and Luis, marketing managers. What's the information that's missing over here? They are. They are. They are marketing manager. Marketing manager. Okay, give me one second. Luis, Rodrigo, and Luis are. They, they are. Okay, but, but Rodrigo and Luis are, only are, right? Okay. Marketing managers. What about Romeo and Rodrigo? Number two. Romeo and Rodrigo from the same department. R. R again, right? So we continue with the same form of the verb to be. R. Hey, do me the favor to be working in the in the in the PDF you have there. Vayan trabajándolo al mismo tiempo, por favor, en su PDF. Number three. What's going on with the number three? We are. We are. We are colleagues, right? So we continue with R. We are. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. They, they in the are. same they, company. They are. Okay, they yeah. are in the same company. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope that you could solve it. Uh, otra cosa que pueden hacer es tomarle foto. Al, al ejercicio, por si no lo pueden estar trabajando simultáneamente. Yo lo algún... estoy completando aquí y después lo relleno. Ah, ok. Ok. Ok, for the people who already finished, para los que ya terminaron, Escríbanme, por favor, en el chat cómo lo hacen utilizando eh, la forma contractada y el, y el subject pronoun. Acuérdense que los subject pronouns son I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Right? Esos son los subject pronouns. ¿Por qué tenemos dos veces you? Eh, a los que miran ahí en el chat... ¿Por qué aparece dos veces you? Uno es porque es de manera singular y el otro es de manera plural. O sea que yo puedo decir tú y puedo decir ustedes utilizando la misma palabra. You. 
All right. So for example, instead of saying Rodrigo and Luis are, ¿cómo podemos decir? ¿Cuál, utilizando el, sub, el subject pronoun. Rodrigo and Luis are marketing managers. They are. Ah, yeah. Okay. In the contractive form. Contractive we're, form. They're not. They're? They're marketing managers. They are or they? I mean, in the contractive form, they're. De forma contractada, they're marketing managers. Okay. Ahí lo pueden visualizar en el chat. Okay. Yo hice el primero. Uh, ¿Quién me ayuda con el segundo? Romeo and Rodrigo are from the same department. Contracted form, please. In the chat, the, please. In uh, the chat. chat. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, you can say it. You can, you can, you can say it, uh, but uh, do me the favor to include it in the chat. There. There. From the same department. They are from the same, okay. Fatima did, Fatima Mitchell. They are from the same department. Pretty good, Fatima. What about number three? Instead of saying we are, ahora vamos a, vamos a darle vuelta. En lugar de decir we are colleagues, entonces vamos a decir Romeo y Works. Rodrigo. Okay, number three. Who wants to help me with number three? We instead of saying we are we are, are called okay, so that, that would be a different way, right? Contractive form. Hagámoslo de esa manera, de forma contractada. Where okay, we are colleagues. We're colleagues. We're colleagues. Yeah, do me the favor. Yeah, do me the favor to type it in the chat, please. We, we, um, All right, Fatima did it again. Pretty good. Pretty colleagues. Good. And the number four, they are in the same company. Okay, Edwin, don't forget about the apostrophe. We're colleagues. Colleagues. Yes, excuse me. Yeah, don't worry. And in the plural form, colleagues. Uh, now, help me with number four. They are. They're in the same company. Pretty good, Carla. They're, they're in the same yeah. company. They're, they're. All right. So I think there's no any problem with the, with the word to be, right? Now, I will move on. Okay. Well, I got some uh, over here. Do me a favor to study the information that's in this, in this link. Para el día mañana, okay. Estudienme el vocabulario de este link. Ahora intenté ingresar a esta conversación y no pude. Ok, ah, porque según creo han removido el audio. Pero luego entré a esta y esta sí está la información que, que debería de estar ahí. They're in the same company. Good, Esperanza. Really good. Ok, so for tomorrow, uh, for expanding your vocabulary about different positions, in a company, do me the favor to study this. Para, para el día de mañana, estudien esto, por favor. Ok, eso está en la página 11. Ya, yeah, page number 11. Sería el segundo link. ¿verdad? Yeah, the second one. It's about vocabulary. Ok, thanks. It's about vocabulary. The first one, well, if, if, you, if you open it and you see the conversation, so that would be really nice. If you just uh, go over it. Now, is there any questions so far? Hay alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No. No, so everything's all right. Okay. So it says, this is a verb B. Well, over here, uh, as, as you remember, we were also talking about uh, negative statements, okay, we are, 
uh, in the contracted form, we were like just working over that uh, over here. But it is important for you to remember that we can create negative statements, right? We can say, we're Irene and Cindy, or we're Irene and Cindy. We are not Irene and Cindy, or we're not Irene and Cindy. Contractive form, the same story. You are managers or you're managers. You are not managers or you're not managers. They are colleagues or they're colleagues. They are not colleagues or they're not colleagues. Okay, simple like that. The only thing that you need to do is to include the word not, all right? Now. Okay, do me the favor to complete this exercise, please. The plural form of the verb be information on parentheses. They compare the answers with the partner. Now, what are we going to do over here? Now, for example, uh, Trabajemos todos en la primera oración y me incluyen la respuesta en el chat. La primera respuesta que yo, que yo vea en el chat la voy a colocar acá. ¿Ok? The plural form of the verb be and the information in parentheses. Receptionist is the first. They are receptionists. Okay, I got Edwin, Edwin's, Edwin's answers. This is what Edwin answered. They are receptionists, right? Good. Don't forget about the period. All right, very good. Now, Edwin, uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, we continue doing so. Investigate what a receptionist does. Todos a investigar qué es lo que hace un recepcionista. Al finalizar esto, este ejercicio, pues por lo menos eh, debe... Deben de, de haber encontrado eh, por lo menos este, el, el de una de estas, de estas actividades, de estas profesiones. ¿Qué es lo que ellos hacen? ¿Qué hace un recepcionista en inglés? Ok, number, number two. We have two supervisors. In the chat. You have not over here, right? Have not. I got Fatima's answers. Fatima's answer here. And Fatima says, you are not supervisors. Good. Fantastic. Now, Fatima, you remember about what a supervisor does, right? Espero se recuerden qué es lo que hace un supervisor, porque ya les voy a preguntar nuevamente. Well, number three, Susana and Marcos, not colleagues. Number three. We are not. Susana and Marcos. I mean, number three. We are. You're talking about number four or number three? Number three is about Susana, right? Susana and Marcos, not colleagues. Okay. They they are not they the are not okay but they listen are. just right now without without uh using the, the subject pronoun they 
You only need to say they Susana and Marcos. Are not college. Okay. And the colleagues, right? Yeah. Okay, now yes. We're done with Very it. Good. Now, number four, people. We are a comment. We're a content, right? Comment. Yeah. Let us try to we do it with it in the contractive form. Where? We are we are not a country. All right. Uh, we're not. We are not a content. Uh, but I think it's a positive, content. right? I yeah, think it's positive. positive. Yeah, it's positive, right? We're a country, a content. Maybe like we're something up there, right? We're contents, right? We're content. Yeah. Good. Very good. Okay, remember, you are in charge of investigating what an accountant does, what, an, a, what a, a supervisor does, a, a receptionist, etc. Number five. We are Carla and Sandra. Contractive form? We're. Okay, good. We're Carla and Sandra. Good. Number six. They are. They Contractive are Mr. form. They are Mrs. and Mrs. Herrera and Mrs. Mejia. They are Mrs. Herrera and Miss Miss Mejia. Mejia. All right. Okay. Pretty good. Now, everybody, do me the favor to go over the internet and investigate about the following. Uh, activities. What does a receptionist do? What does a supervisor does? What about accountants? What do accountants usually do? Uh, we have three, three new words, right? Okay, so I will give you five minutes. Cinco minutos para que investiguen qué es lo que hace cada uno de ellos. Pregunta, teacher. Eh, ¿Lo vamos a, a, a escribir o decírselo? Lo van a decir. Lo van a decir. Ok. Five minutes. The secretary captured the, the phone that calls when the child the appropriate and the, uh, and timing. That's the receptionist. Yes. Okay, very good. What about the supervisor? A uh, supervisor is a, uh, he advise and resolve problems and serve uh, between the sub subordinate and senior and manager. Fantastic, very good. What about accountants? <laughs> Receptionist is the school. Okay, the receptionist take, takes phone calls. Okay, pretty good. What about the accountant? What about the accountant? Hello. <laughs> Don't leave me alone over here, right? No me solo aquí. 
registro de activos, pero no sé cómo se dice. Uh, ok, now investigate it now. The, the receptionist. Ok, receptionist uh, over here. Ok, tell me about receptionist. Uh, the great visitor answer phone calls. The great visitors and answer phone calls. Good. The calls. The supervisor. Okay, Edwin, supervisor. What's going what's going on with supervisors? It's gonna hurt be some will oversee the work of the other uh, supervisor is also responsible for advancing resolving. All right, pretty good. That's what a supervisor does. Thank you, Edwin. But what what's what's going on with the con the accountant? Asset register. Uh she re registers information about the accountant is the change for the keep a record of the sentence and ability of the company and the sometime make all these correspond payments soon as payment of payroll of the workers. Fantastic. Workers. Of the other workers. Okay. okay. Pretty good. That was kind of difficult, but you see, we, we could get my it. Pronunciation. Nah, don't worry about <laughs> it. But, but what really matters is that you got the info. Okay. Sorry. Pretty, you're a good, yeah, you're a good student. Okay. You solve problems immediately. <laughs> okay. So any question about this? No questions, people? No. All right, so let's try to move on. Now, over here, and over here is where you are going to uh, work by your own. Now, you remember about the conversation we, we, start, we saw over here, right? Where there are like three people over here. We have Mary, Romeo, and Rodrigo, right? And they are talking about something related to, uh, to, to um, a new secretary, right? And they are welcoming uh, peop some other people, okay? And they are talking about jobs and about their occupation, right? So what are you going to do in here? Well, we are gonna create uh, groups, I mean, pairs. Voy a crear, um, vamos a trabajar en pareja. Y ahora eh, le va a tocar hacer una conversación, su primera conversación. Ok, voy a tomar como ejemplo la conversación que está acá arriba. Pueden agarrar alguna, alguna frase como good evening, porque ahorita estamos de noche, ¿verdad? No, es good morning. Ok, uh, frases con el verbo eh, to be. Eh, positivas, negativas, lo que hemos estado estudiando. Ok, y... O también, pues, tienen la otra opción, en donde, pues, este, tenemos acá dos personas. Hello, I, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana, I'm Mr. Carlos López. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Excuse me. Is she Mrs. Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She's is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, and are you the supervisor? No, I'm not. I'm a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Ok. Esta sería como su primera conversación en pareja. Y pues voy a detener, voy a dejar de compartir para poder hacer las cosas. Tenemos 16 personas conectadas. Vamos a hacer 8 parejas. Ok. Cuando ya estén en pareja, pues ustedes deciden cómo trabajar la conversación. ¿Qué es lo que van a incluir? Ok, pero algunas recomendaciones. Traten de que la conversación suene natural. Eh, si hay alguna duda con pronunciación, investiguenla y este, practíquenla un momento y ya luego, cuando regresemos todos a la reunión de manera general, pues voy a pedir este, eh, la participación, si es posible, de todos, porque solo son ocho parejas. Para esto van a tener um, uh, 
15 minutos. ¿Ok? 15 minutos completitos. ¿Sería Después, esa que nos puso de ejemplo, teacher? Podría ser esa, le pueden cambiar. ¿Ok? Pero este... Otra cosa que les voy a recomendar es que no lo vayan a leer. ¿Ok? ¿Les parece? It's ok. Ok, it's ok. Eh, los grupos se van a crear automáticamente. Ya usted va a ver con, con quién le tocó. La, perdón, la, en, las parejas. Y pues yo me voy a meter por ahí a observar qué es lo que están haciendo, cómo, cómo lo están este, creando, la manera que están este, participando. No se van a sorprender si de repente aparezco yo por ahí. ¿Ok? Vaya, 15 minutos a partir de este momento. ¿Es democráticamente o democráticamente? No, es ran <risa> randomly. O sea, de manera oh. así este, aleatoria lo, lo crea oh. Tuma ahorita. ¿Ok? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Pero lo único que necesito yes. es que pongan en práctica lo que vimos ayer y ahora. Simple like that. Okay, here we go. Si quiere, hagamos esta que es eh, la segunda. De, ¿Del segundo que nos di, dijeron? Ajá, el de... I am y hello. Ana Trujillo, ajá, caballo. Sí. ¿Lo hacemos igual o, o cómo? Sí, o sea, yo digo, por ejemplo... O sea, vamos a cambiar por nuestro nombre, vea. Uh -huh. um, uh, es como, hello, I am Denise. Y ya luego, tú y hi, y su nombre. Hi, Miss eh, Jennifer Rivas. Ok, nice to meet you. Excuse me, is you eh, Alejandra Castro? Y no, she's, no, she's, eh, Alejandra. She's manager, manager of the company. Okay. Eh, okay, and you are the teacher? No, I am. I am a star person. Thank you so much. Mister, no sería Miss, ¿verdad? Sí, Miss. ¿Y cuál es su apellido? Rivas. Ah, ok. <ríe> vale, entonces yo digo que algo así. Yo pienso que sí, porque otras cosas mm -mm, no creo. Vaya. Entonces, empiezo yo. Ajá. Sería, hello, I am Denise Castro. Hi, um, hi, um, is Miss Jennifer Rios? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is she, is she Miss Alejandra Castro? No, no she is Miss uh, Denise. Um, she is manager of the company. Okay, and you are the teacher? I don't know, sad person, can you, Miss Denise? 
thank you so much, Miss Rio. Pero es que solo una cosa, cuando dice, lo que pasa es que le dice, eh, donde la segunda, donde yo le digo, mucho gusto, perdón, ella es, se refiere como a otra persona, cuando yo le digo a Alejandra Castro, o sea, donde dice, nice to meet you too, excuse me, she's Alejandra Castro, entonces usted o la persona responde, no, she's, she's Miss Diana, o sea, haciendo mención que es otra persona, she's the eh, manager of the company. Okay. Entonces, lo, ajá, lo que quiero decir es que en esa donde yo le estoy preguntando porque les... Ah, welcome. We are, we are from the marketing department. Bueno, lo, lo, pero tengo que, bueno, voy a decir otra, otra profesión, ¿verdad? We are. Ah, no, ya hice bienvenido Ajá. al departamento de marketing, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero ahí, es que como esa conversación es de, de, como de tres o más, ¿verdad? Y ahí no, como lo conversas... de dos. ¿Esa conversación? Sí. No, porque, bueno, pero ahí dice... Bienvenido, o sea, yo, yo te diría bienvenida al departamento de marketing, por ejemplo. Ajá. Y dice, no, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. I am not. No, ya, ya, no. No sé. <risa> Pero bueno, lo que ahí, o sea, ahí cambiémosle y hagamos una conversación. Porque ahí solo se, se presenta y se dicen las profesiones, ¿verdad? Ah. ¿Verdad? Hello, Fatima. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Is there any problem? Not. Okay. So, are you ready to start? Yes, uh, I have the, the conversation in the, the new book. Okay, and did you practice with Fatima? Uh, I, I I don't know. So is Fatima is Fatima there? Hello, Fatima. Sí, estoy aquí. Uh, uh, okay, so now are, did you practice with Edwin? Did you practice the conversation already? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I want to listen to you. Uh, do me the favor to activate your cameras, please. Okay, Edwin, thank you. And Fatima? Okay, remember this will be like the first time uh, you 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 will um participate in a conversation, okay? Espero que hagan un excelente trabajo. Esta es la primera conversación que van a a crear en inglés, okay? okay. Espero que ya hayan practicado y este pues todavía nos quedan un par de minutitos por ahí por si quieren seguirlo practicando, All right? It's okay. Okay, very good. Si no quedamos, por ejemplo, hablamos 
ponemos Good Evening, ¿verdad? Eh, I am Juan Carlos y sos el nuevo, digamos, aquí le puedes poner sos el nuevo manager o el, 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 el new supervisor. Nice to meet you, me decís. Yo te pongo, nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Mm -hmm. eh, I am este, Mr. L. Nilsson. Y quiero ver. Pero tú estás tomando como ejemplo, ¿cuál estás tomando? En la primera. Hello, hello. Are you ready with the conversation, lady and Carlos? Can you please activate? Okay, Carlos. And start? No, I mean, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so We're you, ready. you're not, you're not going to read anything, right? No, 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 leer, no, no. Ya practicaron no. lo suficiente. Yep. Bueno, entonces ya... Vamos a esperar que cinco minutitos y luego regresamos en la, a la sala de manera general, ¿ok? Thank you. Ok. Ok. Vani, le diría yo. Ajá, vaya. <ríe> sí. <ríe> Pero cómo nos va usted. Y que nos va a ir llamando por... No, solo au automáticamente. Ah, ahí está. Eh. <ríe> automáticamente nos lleva a la sala general. Ah. Ahí está. ¿Cómo, Hello. ¿Cómo va todo? Hello. Hello. Ah. ¿Está bien? Aquí, ¿Todo está planeando, bien? planeando, sí. Ok, ya, ya vamos a regresar a la sala general. Ok, espero que ya estén listos ponemos. Ok. So, un par de minutos más y regresamos, ¿ok? Bueno. Ay, me dio tiempo. Bueno, practiquemos si quieren. Vaya. Hello. Oh. Hello, Jessica and Jennifer. Todavía tiene problemas con el audio. Ambas. ¿Me escuchan? ¿Me escuchan? Ok, Jennifer no escucha nada. Jennifer, ya intento, quiero ver.
No escuchas nada. Y si es tu micrófono, mi micrófono estaba mal configurado, por eso no escuchaba tampoco. Bueno, yo sí escuchaba, pero no me escuchaban a mí. Hello everyone. <laughs> how how was the, the activity? Hello. How was the activity? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, the say the conversation with different names. Yeah, but same conversation with different names. Okay, so it's up to you. Okay, but what really matters to me is they put into practice what we have been studying lately. Okay, so let me see. I, I will start with. With this, I, I I took some pictures about the the couples, okay, and I I want to listen to Edwin and Fatima. Okay, ready, Fatima. Are you ready, Fatima? Yes. Okay, so here we go. Hello, I am Fatima Molina. Fatima. I am Mr. Edwin De Paz. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Edwin. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she is not. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. Uh, are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am the sales person. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. De Paz. Nice to meet you. That was it. Yes or no? Hey, for me, that's A W E S O M E. Do you know that word? Look at the chat. Do you know that word? That was awesome. Okay. Thank you very much, Edwin. And Fatima, that was quite good. Okay, okay. thanks, teacher. Second participation. Elenilson and Juan. Good evening. I am, good evening. I am uh, Mr. Juan Carlos. I am the new supervisor. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Ellen Nilsson. I am from the graphic designing department. Thank you so much for information. You're welcome. Okay, that was it, Ellen Nilsson. Pretty nice, Juan Carlos. Pretty good, good, good conversation. Excellent conversation. Thank you. I have Carlos Josue and ladies Cecibel. <clears throat> Hello. 
Hello, ladies. Hello, Carlos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What do you do, do next week? I'm going to the movie. I have a ticket to the rock concert. Can you with me? Okay, it's fine. And uh, we can go to the movies. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Quite good. Excellent. Pretty good. Okay, now uh -huh. let, us, let us listen to Gabriela and Obed. Hi, my, hello, I am Gabriela Guardado. Nice, nice to, to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. I am Obed. Uh, what do you do? I am commercial analyst. And you? I work in a cinema. I sell tickets. Ah, fine. Um, I check process to sell a supermarket and Walmart in the this place. Okay. Uh, thanks for the information. Uh, have a uh, good night. Good night. Fantastic. Pretty good. Now, you are uh, communicating your ideas in English. That's fantastic. I think, let me see, I have Denise and Jennifer Guadalupe. Hello, I am Denise Castro. Hi, uh, Denise, I am Miss uh, Jennifer Libros. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, ESG Alejandra Castro. No, she is Mr. Jana Aguilar. She is manager of company. Okay, and you are speaking very well. No, I am not. I am a sales person. Thank you so much, Miss Frida. Thank you so much. All right, fantastic. Quite good. Excellent info. Hey, I wonder who, uh, Henry, who did you work with, Henry? Henry Giovanni, who did you work with? Perdón, teacher. Who, who did you work with? ¿Con quién trabajó Henry? Con Carla. Okay, Henry and Carla. Here we go. Hello, Henry. I am Carla Mendoza. Hi, Carla. I am Mr. Giovanni Rivas. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. He, she is not Andrea. She is Andrea Lopez. No, she isn't. She is Mr. Andrea Canales. She is the secretary of the company. Ah, okay. And she is, and they are the supervisor. No, I am not. I am a coordinator of sure and community. Uh, well, thank you so much, Mr. Giovanni. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Fantastic, quite good, excellent. <laughs> now we are, so we started <laughs> to share our uh, ideas in English, right? Some expressions we are um, putting into practice, some Info that we have been studying about the verb to be, is she or he is, uh, I am, etc. So that's what we have been practicing so far. Uh, ¿Queda alguien pendiente? ¿Se me escapó alguna pareja? No, ¿ya todos participaron? Good. Teacher, eh, a mí me tocó con Evelyn, pero no escuché nada de ella. 
Sí, es que, es que algunos tuvieron, tienen dificultad con, con el audio y con el micrófono. Realmente no sé, yo ya pregunté acá a los compañeros de qué manera se les puede ayudar. Algunas veces es por problemas de conexión. Algunas veces Zoom, pues, como que, como que también está como, da como algunas fallas. Pero, pues, esperamos que, que eso se solvente pronto. Ya, pues, si los compañeros de me dan alguna manera de poderles apoyar, pues yo, yo les, les hago saber, ¿ok? Teacher, en mi caso yo a veces no enciendo la cámara porque la señal se pone demasiado débil. Entonces, si la mantengo encendida, escucho entrecortado. Por eso a veces mejor la mantengo apagada para escuchar más bien qué es lo que... Lo que me interesa, aunque no le entiendo casi nada, pero ahí vamos. Pero ya habló bastante ahora, mire, Henry. Ya hizo su primera conversación, eso ya es mucho, ¿ok? Ya pasitos a pasitos ya van a ir viendo cómo vamos a ir avanzando. Um, ¿No hay este, alguna pregunta, algo, algo que quieran comentar respecto a la actividad? Si no, pues continuamos porque todavía tenemos mucho que trabajar esta noche. Uh, listen, algo que yo noté en sus presentaciones es, por ejemplo, usted dice, Mister, si usan los títulos, no me dejen solo el título y el nombre, ¿ok? No pueden decir Mr. Carlos, no. Tiene que decir Mr. Carlos López. O solo Mr. López pero nunca Mr. Carlos, ¿ok? Let me see, quiero ver qué hay que más me recuerdo. Miren lo mismo con las damas, ¿ok? Si usted me dice, oh, oh, I am Miss Diana, ok, no, no está correcto. Tiene que poner el apellido. O, o bien dicen Miss, Di Miss Andrade o Miss Diana Andrade, right? Lo mismo con las mujeres casadas. Mrs. Diana Aguilar. Not only Miss, Mrs. Diana. Eso está incorrecto. Decir solo Mrs. Diana, no. Mrs. Diana Aguilar. All right. Miren acá al final, pues está el señor López. Ok, él bien hubiera, pues, bien hubiera ha dicho acá nuevamente... Gracias, muchas gracias, señor Carlos López, pero no. Solo le dice, thank you so much, Mr. López. Y las dos son válidas, ¿ok? Ok, let's move on. Teacher, una pregunta. Eh, ahí en, eh, vaya, por ejemplo, para las chicas y señoras, es Miss o Miss, ¿verdad? Pero Vaya, para los caballeros, todo el tiempo va a ser Mister. Ajá, Mister. Eh, para, las pero... señor... para las damas que no sabemos si están casadas o solteras, vamos a ser Miss. Miss. Ajá, y es porque no sabemos el, el estado civil de la persona. Ah, okay. Pero cuando sabemos que ella está casada, ahí usamos Misses. Misses. Mises. Y cuando, digamos, el, el, el caballero, eh, eso no, no importa, es Mister, no, ya sea yeah, joven, Mister, ya sea el señor. Mister all the time. Sí, porque so, ya pero usar, casado, pues, Mister. Ya utilizar ya otro, este, ya decirle boy, ya, ya es. No, ya hablamos I mean, de un chico, de un niño. Sí, si ustedes se fijan, acá estamos en un contexto de laboral. Adultos. ¿verdad? De adultos, correcto, laboral. Correcto, ah. Ok, ok. Sí, porque como preguntaba, porque para, para mujer, digamos, Miss y Mrs., porque no yeah. se sabe, pero para, para hombres igual, Mr. Mr. all the time. Ok. Ok. Pretty good. So let's go over the next part. Ok, now, let me see. Is, oh, well, we still have some time on here. Now, is Mrs. Diana Aguilar the manager of the company, according to what we have here? What is the answer? 
Is Mrs. Diana Aguilar the manager of the company? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Where is it? Not. It's over here, right? No, she isn't. No, she, she is isn't. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. No, so, she isn't. Is Mrs. Diana Aguilar the manager? No, she isn't, right? You have two options, right? Actually, we are going to start uh, working on this information soon. Well, in this kind of sentences, in this kind of questions, you have two options, right? You say that the answer is no, comma, she isn't, period, okay? Now, are Anna and Carlos supervisors? No. No, I am not. Are Anna and Carlos supervisors? You say no? No. Comma? They. They are they salesperson. Are they are not. So they say no, they aren't, right? They are. They aren't. Uh, they are. They are? Or they here? They are not salesperson. All right. Now, well, we're going to go over this part because we already studied about. Positive statements, negative statements, but though here we're gonna start talking about questions in English, okay? And there are different questions in English. I mean, we have just no questions, we have uh, double H questions, but the ones we're gonna start uh, just right now are the yes, no questions, okay? Of course, with the verb to be, okay? Now, I will ask somebody in the group, let me see. Gabriela, what are the three forms of the verb be in present? ¿Cuáles son las tres formas del verbo be in presente? Am, um, is, are. Simple like that, right? Am, um, is, and are. All right? And we have it over here, right? Are, is, is, are, are, and are. Okay? And it happens that when we have positive statements, we, I mean, this comes at the beginning, right? So you say, you are Carlos, right? But when we create questions, when we have questions, so it, it is totally different, right? Because then the verb be is, is I mean, you start the question with by using the verb be at the beginning. Are you Carlos? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Is she a manager? Yes, she is. You say yes or no. You have only two options. Yes or no. Simple like that. That's why they are called yes, no questions, right? Okay. <clears throat> As you can see, the verb to be over here. Let 
Básica, básicamente es anteponer y, el verbo to be antes del, del nombre. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Is, are, are they, are your. But in this case, you see, are your bosses. We're talking about your bosses. And you have all times. If we have, if we are talking about yes, no questions, we will have only two options, right? And what you need to see over here is that uh, you can contract the, the, negative, the negative answer, but never the positive. Okay. Yes, we are. No, we aren't. There's a there's a way to contract it, or you may say, yes, we're not. Oh, no, we're not. Sorry. The same over here. Yes or no. And the contractive form is aren't or they are not. So, and actually, this is the this is the. The way we create um, we create as uh, questions in English. You see, now if we if we complete these exercises, is she Jessica? Can somebody help me with that answer, please? No, she's not. No, she's not. <clears throat> no, she's not. Uh huh. She is Linda. She is Linda. She's Linda. Good. Work, work in your in your PDF, please. Work it in your PDF. Number two, a manager. Are are a manager. Are you a manager? Are you are you a manager? Are you a manager? Uh huh. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Good. Number three. He, is he, he, is he, Thomas? He, is he Thomas? Is he Thomas? No. He isn't. No, he isn't? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. He, no, he isn't. He is Jose. No, he isn't. He's actually over here. You need the S only, right? Because you have the, the apostrophe here. His yeah. is Jose. No, but if you say, is it Thomas? No, he isn't. He is. How this of this one? I think it's better if we do it this way. It's because, you know. See, no. No what? No, he's not. No, he's not. No, right? he's not. No, he's not. No, no, he's not. not. No, and this? He is Jose. All right. So now he is, right? He is Jose. It makes sense now, right? Ahora sí tiene sentido. Number four. Are they? Are they? Are they Francisco and Alan? Thank you, comadre. Bien. 
Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Number five. Are you? Are you? Are you? Oh, sorry. You is there now. Are you Marcela and Carla? No, we aren't. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. They are. They are. They are. If we are using we. Oh, we are. Okay, we're. We are. We're Maria and Camila, we are. right? Contractive form. Contractive form. Okay. Now complete it, please. In your PDF. Una consulta. Tell me, Nilsson. Eh, solo para concretarla, o sea, la, la, ¿cómo se llama? <coughs> para caer bien en, en la explicación de el cambio de, por ejemplo, donde decía no, si, no, si, o sea, ese cambio. Puede explicar, igual que en la otra que hubo de, de Marcela y Carla. Ajá. En la número 5, Ellen Nilsson. En la, en la número 3 y en la 5. Ah, en la 3. <coughs> en la 3 y en la 5. Ok, eh, sí, toma. Para que la oración esté... Ok, en in, in la número 3, we have eh, a Thomas, right? So, is it Thomas? Uh -huh. Or here there's no any problem. No, no hay nada. Ok, so then... Remember that you need to answer yes or no, right? Yes or no. And if you notice, si se da cuenta, después de, de escribir sí o escribir no, va una comita. Mm -hmm. Ok. Entonces acá, escribimos no. El, es, eh, ¿Es he Thomas? No. Uh -huh. He's not. He is Jose. Uh -huh. es, es, es el Tomás? No. Él no lo es. Él es Jose. Right? ¿Por qué no, uh, yeah. ¿Por qué no se usó el no? He isn't. Ah, oh, well, you, you can do both, right? Puede usar ambos. O sea, eso sí no uh -huh. es problema. A eso es lo que me refería. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, eso no es problema. No, he isn't, hacer... or no, he's not. Ah. Cualquiera de los dos está bien. Ah, perfecto. Ok. Y en la cinco, 
are you Marcela and Carla? Son uh -huh. ustedes Marcela y Carla? No, we are, no, no lo somos. Nosotras somos María y Camila. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, sí. All right. Yo tenía duda ahí. And the same, and the same happens with, with this, right? Okay, as you can see, you can use both, right? Okay. Sí. Give me one second, please. Well, over here, we don't have uh, the pronoun we. But it happens, the, it happens the same story, right? Instead of saying we, we aren't, we say we aren't or no, we aren't or no, we're not. Lo mismo sucedería aquí con esto. Is it clear now? Ellen Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so do me the favor to complete this conversation. <clears throat> Me van a ayudar a completar el, ejer el ejercicio 6 y luego se van a ir a la plataforma. Mientras ustedes trabajan en esto, voy a pasar la lista. Chani. All right, voy a dejar de compartir. El ejercicio está en la página 14, page number 14. <coughs> Me ayudan con la asistencia, por favor. Ayer, pues yo estaba viendo que acá, que, que pues la mayoría estuvo presente, pero el, como que hubo problemas de conexión, por aquí les pusieron algunas observaciones. La mayoría se quedaron los 120 minutos, los felicito. Okay, Carlos Josué. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Denise Elizabeth. Yes, <clears throat> Edgardo Daniel. Edgardo Daniel, are you there? Edwin Osvaldo. Present teacher. Ellen Nilsson. I'm here, teacher. Elias Esperanza. Present teacher. Okay. Evelyn Janira. Evelyn is. La persona que tenía problemas con micrófono, quiero ver. Sí, Evelyn, acá está. Fátima Michelle. Aquí. Gabriela Jazmín. Present. Henry Giovanni. Present, teacher. Jennifer Guadalupe. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Beltrán. Present teacher. Julio César.
Carla María. Estoy presente, teacher. Ok. Lady Cecibel. I'm here, teacher. Luis José. Obed. Present, teacher. Ok. Wendy Carolina. William Aristides <coughs> Jennifer Madali Jessica Noemi Presente Ok, thank you Okay, did you finish, people? Okay, did you finish? How do you complete this conversation, people? Excuse me. How do you complete this conversation? Can somebody help me with this? Excuse me, are you, for example, excuse me, are you Carla? No, I'm not, I'm Denise, right? Yes, I'm Pussy. That is Carla, I was reading your mind, right? That's Carla. That's Carla over there, right? That's Carla, where? Right over there. And are you... How... What else could you, could you include over here? 
uh, uh, check the, the activities. And for example, are, and are you a... Uh, Susan. Are you Susan? Or, or maybe it's talking about the occupation, the right? Doctor. Uh -huh. And are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Yes, I am. You can continue like that, right? Continue every day of, of the week, uh, morning, the morning, the check activities. Okay, now let's go over the activities in the in the platform, people, so that we can finish with what we started today. Today. Uh, well, today we were talking about just no questions with the verb to be. That's what we wanted to um, to learn today. Now, when you see self-assessment, it's auto-evaluation. Now I can introduce and provide information about myself and others. Podemos hacer eso ya. Podemos presentarnos y dar información acerca de nosotros mismos a los demás. Independientemente, yes. con ayuda o solamente con ayuda. Okay, let's see. Ahí ustedes se van autoevaluando, ¿verdad? Si lo hacen de manera individual, si lo hacen con, ocasionalmente con la ayuda del profesor o con la ayuda de un compañero, o sí. si lo hacen únicamente con ayuda. Ahí ustedes van a ir viendo sus avances también. Ok, let's go over the platform and see what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Well, this is this is one of the activities for tomorrow, right? Este es un enlace que ustedes deben estudiar para mañana. ¿Cómo? Eh, de vez en cuando, sí. The number seven. Sí. Okay. Perdón, teacher. ¿Cuál es el, ¿Cuál es el enlace que tenemos que que escuchar para mañana. Leer es una lectura, ah. es de la página, quiero ver. Es okay. en la página 11. Es el segundo enlace de la página 11. Thank you. All right. Okay, now we we are going to try to finish by solving this exercise. Todos a la plataforma, por favor. Esta es la segunda tarea. Nick, tengo una pregunta. Dígame. Eh, yo estoy en la plataforma y verdad que es en, en curso y después sección, ¿verdad? Sí, sección uno. Ajá, de sección uno. Sección one, ese. yo, ajá. Entonces, yo ya contesté la 1, 2, 3, 3, pero en el otro, en el cuarto, ya me sale como que tengo que ver un video. Ah, entonces, pues, detengámonos ahí y en su momento lo respondemos. Porque dice, my, my name is Jennifer Miller, el, el 4, videoconferencia 4. Folks, if we and announce, o sea, en la, en la tarea 4. Ajá. ¿En cu ¿Cuál es la que tenemos que hacer? Ahorita vamos, por la Ahorita vamos a la 2. Ah, ya la contesté. Uh -huh. okay, ok, si, yeah. si ya lo contestaron, es, pues es, es mejor una porque... Por, es, solo... es una por clase, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, ok. No, pero por este los... no hay problema. Si ustedes pueden adelantar, es mejor. O sea, es mejor porque eh, así solo reafirmamos lo que ya se ha venido trabajando. Ok, solo es la miedo nada más. Muchas gracias. Ok. Now, for example, uh, I have this question, right? Is she re con, con el video, ¿sí, teacher? No, no, I mean, over here, okay. acá, 
nos vamos directamente a la actividad. Porque recuérdense que la, lo que va quedando eh, grabado en la plataforma son las clases que nosotros generamos acá. Entonces, cuando nosotros pasamos a esta, a esta parte, entonces este, acá todavía no está el video porque es la clase que estamos generando ahora. Pero las actividades o la actividad 2 sigue justamente respecto a lo que hemos estado estudiando. Miren. Teacher, disculpe, tengo, eh, ¿cómo entro a la plataforma de la tarea? Eh, en su correo le enviaron este, el enlace para poder entrar a la plataforma. Si gusta, revise el correo y ahí va a poder visualizar el enlace. Sí, eh, la tarea que está diciendo ahorita, esa yo ya la hice, ¿verdad? Ok, ok, there's no any problem. No hay problema, solo vamos a chequear que todo esté bien o vamos a hacer como un repaso entonces. Uh -huh. So we have, is she Rebecca? Yes. She is. Yes, she is. Ok. Yes, she is. Number two. Are What you is Miguel? the question there? Are you Miguel? Are you Miguel? Are you Miguel, Are you Miguel and Ricardo? Yep. Number three. Is he? Is it Thomas? Is he Thomas? Number four. No, we are not. No, we are not. Number five. Yes, they are. Are your bosses there? Are your bosses here? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Any question, teacher? Tell me, Edwin. Uh, and the second is the uh, the R mayuscula or uh, R minuscula? That's that's yeah. That's a, a really good question, eh, Edwin. Yeah. That's a really good question. But fíjense bien que siempre que iniciamos vamos a utilizar mayúscula. Eh, is she Rebecca? Ok. Mayúscula. Nombres propios, mayúscula. Después de contestar sí o no, una coma. Yes, coma, she is. Y el punto, miren. La plataforma inclusive le incluye el punto porque es importante que también vayamos observando esas cosas para poder escribir de manera correcta. Now, in the second one, as you can see, that's a capital letter also, right? Capital okay. letter. And, and, the, and the one, the, the, and the one is, is S apostrophe. This one? Yes, yes no, she is. No, it cannot be, it cannot be like that. Eh, por eso les decía hoy en la clase que cuando responden sí, nunca lo van a poder contractar. Solo cuando, cuando sea no. Si por ejemplo aquí dijera, is she, is she Rebecca? No, she's not. Aquí sí se pudiera contractar diciendo o respondiendo no. Pero cuando contestamos sí, Nunca vamos a ocupar esto. No lo vamos a contractar. Ok, thanks, teacher. Yes, she is. Ok. And that's it, right? I think it's over, right? You have done, you have done a great, a great, uh, great activities today. So, wonder if you have any question. Okay, so no question. Homework for tomorrow. Tarea para mañana. Lo primero, van a buscar tres profesiones que no hayamos en, que no hayamos estudiado acá y nos las van a presentar. O sea, ¿qué hacen esas personas? 
¿verdad? Usted va a buscar otras profesiones y nos van a explicar en qué consiste. ¿Qué hacen esas personas? ¿Ok? Y si usted conoce a alguien que se dedica a eso, pues también nos lo puede presentar acá. Y that's the homework for tomorrow. Espero que, que todos pues, participen mañana. Este día, pues, estuvo, yo siento que estuvo mejor que ayer. Ayer quizás estábamos, eh, fue el primer día, you know, el día que, pues, se rompe el hielo. Pero ahora, pues, nos sentimos, yo los vi más cómodos. Y pues yo me sentí mucho mejor también. Así que, pues, no sé Igual, si hay cómodo alguna... por mí, ¿no? Porque está más cómodo. <ríe> no sé si hay alguna pregunta, algo que quieran decir antes de irnos a la cama. No, pues. Yo creo que todo ya la... La ya la confianza que quizás vamos tomando, teacher. Sí, claro. <risa> saben que, saben que eso, eso me encanta que, que, los, que los participantes pues se sientan, eh, pues, pues formen amistad. La verdad que si formamos amistad, vamos este, a, a trabajar mejor. ¿verdad? Eh, ahí por ahí he estado viendo que en el chat, ustedes en el WhatsApp se han estado ayudando y eso es muy bueno. Ok. Porque muchas veces nosotros los profesores pues estamos muy... A, muy atareado. Yo, de hecho, este, trabajo en un lugar en donde no tengo acceso a internet y pues ni a llamadas telefónicas y se me hace bien difícil. Entonces, cuando ya regreso, veo que ya entre ustedes se han estado ayudando y eso, eso está genial. Bueno, si no hay más comentarios o preguntas, pues nos vemos mañana. Yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Eh, la tarea son, sí, soy Jessica. La tarea que acaba de dejar son... Tres profesiones, dijo, ¿verdad? ¿A qué Tres se dedican? Profesiones. Nada más. ¿A qué se dedican? Ajá. Y si usted conoce a alguien que, eh, perdón, a, a, a alguien que, que, que se dedica a una de esas profesiones, nos puede presentar a esa persona. Qué malo. Ok. 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 Thank you. Ok. Pueden hacer presentación PowerPoint, pueden este, usar creatividad, lo que ustedes deseen eh, para participar. Eh, les recomiendo que no lean la info, eso sí. No leamos la información, tratemos de aprendernos. Sí. Ok, so if there... Vamos a decir aquí, frente a todos, los tres, los tres. Sí, lo, lo van a decir acá. Voy a iniciar la clase con eso. O sea, mm. con eso voy a iniciar la clase mañana para este, que vayamos ganando vocabulario también. Okay, so let's lo, see lo, lo podemos hacer en una presentación, digo, a teacher. Sí, Edwin. Pueden hacerlo okay. en una presentación. Por supuesto, si van a hacer presentación, pongamos las imágenes, porque la correcto. información ya ustedes se la van a ver aprendido. Sí, correcto, teacher. Son, do Thank you. son, okay. son dos tareas, ¿verdad? Pues okay. es una tarea, solo que tienen la opción de, de presentar a un conocido que se dedique a cierta profesión. No, me refiero a también escuchar el, 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 el link. Ah, sí, el enlace de la lectura, sí, también hay que leer de lo de la okay. página 11. Ok. Ok. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.